Welcome back, everyone, to Shards of God, I believe. Is Shards of God. The name of the game. Um, we have not found any shards yet, but we have found uh, the, the guy who was masquerading as the god of this area, so, you know, we, we got- masquerading? Well, he was in a statue that people thought was- like inhabited by that god. Yeah, and the, but the thing is, they they usually have a dude in there, but this guy just happened to be dead. Yes. In there. Yes. But just saying, we've like found half of what the title is looking for. So. Oh yeah. No shards yet. No. So yeah, we've been to the library, now we have choices. the forge, and the forge, and Mun's chambers. Mun. So now we have two choices: farm or the temple. Go to the temple first, since it's closer. It just feels like mm -hmm. it makes sense. So we've got a statue, beautiful carvings, catalyst. He seems very ominous. Some interesting windows, more carvings, non-interactive candles, but they're nice. I like the look of. This game in general, but yeah, just I mean, nice candles. the game is. I mean, doesn't it look very striking like Discworld? Yeah, it does remind me of Discworld, especially the eyes. Well, at least, at least when I look at Ava's, like <laughs> her direct, there's not a lot of games that have this very direct side view in the more like a, mm -hmm. a, a more interestingly yeah. deaf 2D game. Yeah. They try to kind of form a little bit more around and be more creative with like looking realistic, but uh, this world did just a very like straight to the side thing. Yeah, but it's also a similar level of complexity for the art. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's, I think it's a like I mean, there are probably there are probably plenty of inspirations, but I feel like that art from this world has been the direction somehow. Sure. Anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look well, yeah. much like the June game I've played. <laughs> But no. I've only played one, so. No. Yeah. So I guess let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Greetings, you must be Master Catalyst. That would be Father Catalyst, sister. Uh, pardon me, Reverend Father. Wait, so you address me sister, but I call you father. Naturally, a sister of vigil, yet you do not know the ways of the faith. Uh, I did now. I just suddenly found it. So God has been dead for less than a day and you're already going off the leash. Questioning customs? Focus and be respectful, acolyte. Yes, mother. I <laughs> father. Beg you I meant father. Oh, brother. <laughs> 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 very, uh -huh. very fun writing. This is great. Tell me about this place. Been admiring your temple, Father Catalyst. No doubt it draws pilgrims from all corners of the nation. Is that why you're here, vigilant sister? Uh, one of the reasons, yeah. And have you had a chance to observe our historical carvings? Much admired works of art. You may have read our Lord's story a thousand times. But there is something about seeing it depicted. Something that just inspires. And the statue. And the statue. Holiest of whole in this classic contemplative pose. Holding sunbeams that he has obtained from the sun itself. So, what do you think of the Emperor? <laughs> Pretty shit, actually. <laughs> Opinions? Should one have opinions about his divine light, sister? I mean... Certainly not. It's not my place to opine on the Lord, only to pray. Of course, pardon me. And I do pray. I pray his eternal wisdom allows him to halt a military expansion he has been planning. And here we have yet another roundabout way to say I don't like what man is doing. Mm-hmm. What do you do here? I see you really have traveled from afar. I'm the head priest. I preside over all matters of faith and worship. 
But my role is obvious. Really, sister, it is you who could be more forthcoming as to your mission here. Well... <laughs> you straight to the case. God, it's it's a, a man and he's been murdered. Oh, it's a secret. Yes. It's even better. It's a secret. I am here on mission. <laughs> yes. I'm just visiting for pleasure. I just, I'm just here to marvel at the city's beauty. Somehow I doubt that's the only reason. But fine, Sister Vigil. Fine. I'll stop prying. I'll be on my way, Father Catalyst. May our Divine Lord shine upon your path, sister. May he. So, let's look at the carvings. Uh, okay, inscription. Man, still one with the sun, creates the solar system with his breath of light. Okay, beautiful. That's a good job. It is said that at the dawn of time, man and the sun were one. This engraving shows him in that form before he walked among mortals. Okay. And this. Man descends from the sun and brings light to the barbaric tribes of the Great Desert. Mm. This one could use some renovation. I wonder what Catos has to say about that. Well, you're going to confront the renovation on him. What do you think this one is? This is giving water to the to the crazy peeing monsters. Yes, probably. On the tank at the top. Mun gives the Gnath their trunks, letting them mine the depths of the desert for sustenance. So ah, that was my second guess. Close enough. Yeah. Says Mun using his divine power to improve the Gnath. I actually used to believe this. I, I think that was him. Wait, used to? I still believe it. Feels like a lifetime ago. What? What? Why, why did he used to believe? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. So just New the city Testament. being city. The Imperial City of His Holy Light is built. Okay. The Imperial City. Looks like it's from a time when the library and the forge hadn't been built yet. Okay. Him and his dolls. Squad. <laughs> the squad. The guys that takes care of the business whenever they're like, hey, you haven't paid your tax yet. <laughs> we'll just have to collect something. Man meditates while the sisters of Vigil keep guard. Yeah, close enough, actually. That's us. Where is sister? Ha! This is us, the sisters of Vigil. Yeah. Ha. Can't see if he's also holding sunbeams. The sisters are blocking the view. Pesky sisters! And... He's got some weird body parts. Man harnesses the power of the sun to create the nation's technology. Okay, that's what that's Imagine supposed to be. Imagine this dude walking. It looks like his mini body. Like, imagine this guy walking around like a spider. <laughs> And that's his, like, <laughs> balloon or something. <laughs> yes. He's got... That's this famed balloon from Sun, the god. Yes. He won't do any new decrees Well, his balloon. <laughs> um, creating the nation's technology. Anything else? Top left part stands out. It seems to have been added recently. Is that the general's replication machine? Hmm. Oh, so now we might go about have that. stuff to ask about. The holy priest, he seems stern and somewhat solemn. Father Catalus, may I have a word with you again? A brief word, sister, yes. So, I notice one of the carvings is in a bad state. Say, Father Catalyst, the historical carving of Mun bringing light to the barbaric tribes. Say no more, system. I'm very much aware of its sore condition. I confess I've been putting the renovations off for too long. In fact, if you meet any skilled artisans, send them my way immediately. Will do, Father. 
and notice a few additions to one of the images. If I'm not mistaken, something has been recently added to one of them. Ah, that. General Rutil is in his replication machine. Is that what it is? A box of sorts, yes? Yes, yes. Apparently it is an invention worth desecrating. I mean, uplating our historical carvings. Rootless just barred in here one morning with some workers in tow. He wouldn't leave until it was finished. I protested, but the man had permission from the Lord himself. I'll be on my way, Father Catalus. May our Divine Lord shine upon your path, sister. That kind of looks like... Maybe fish. dead fish, yeah. Weird. Fishy, 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 fishy. Fishy fish. Oh, is that that's fine. That, that's is, totally is not that... alive. <sighs> oh, right. The, the farms are on the back of the creatures. The naff. The gnaths are a lot bigger than I thought oh, they would be. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's a big gnath. It's eyeball. Wow, yeah, those, these are big. I mean, makes sense when you're growing stuff on their back, but look, I didn't think they... Look, okay. No. Uh, farmer. Must be a local farmer. He looks tired, but happy. And fruit. Farming equipment. Mind if I... No idea how any of this works. Fine, so. Not picking it up. Pottery. Can't just take it. Probably belongs to the farmer. Uh, tree. Don't need to pick fruit off the tree. There's plenty that's already been harvested. I'll just... Good, sir. Would you mind if I help myself to some fruit? Awfully hungry. Fine with me. Harvest good this year. Actually, take as many as you want. Uh, thank you. I'll take two of them. Or four. Three? Deal. Just stay away from the green ones. All we'd be have to burn your tongue to get you unstuck. I'll keep that in mind. Oof, these are heavy. So, anything else over here? A knife? Mm. Maybe I should take a close look at it before touching it. Look at the knife on the back there. You sucking at her. creatures. When you see them from this far away, you almost feel like you could pet them. Almost. <laughs> okay. Knife stuck in a nath root. Thought saver? If this was the murder weapon, Mother Superior. Well, what if this was? And that's a stretch, but there must be Lady Radina, the chief agriculturist, which makes her a very important, powerful person. One of the few people who had access to his imperial chamber. Palace. Yes. She's talking so fast. Wow. The Which would Emperor we would yes, rather. Yes. Yes. The, the knife would pass yes, the wound. Yes. It is a stretch. Should have seen that coming. Now I'm not saying it's not possible. You're right that the knife matches the wound. So? So I say you follow your hunch, Shaver. There is, of course, still the question of piercing the suit. With a knife could be a place to start. So I may be right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll just... Wait. Should I ask... I don't know about it. What was that? Could it really be the knife that pierced Mon's chest? Should ask right now. Okay. And... I should speak to Radana before I start taking her things. Right. Oh, right there. You didn't even see her? Good day to you. <laughs> I thought it was a statue. Oh. <laughs> I kind of only noticed this part. The oh, yeah. Part I mean, it's like a very rocks. interesting, interesting so, looking cape, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, like, I kind of didn't notice the person inside the cape. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Lady That's rude, Rodina? but I get it. You must be Lady Rottener. 
<laughs> Interesting accent. I didn't mean to yes. disturb you. Excuse me? Yes, the name's Radnan. And you are? Ava, pleased to make your acquaintance. A vigilant nun, huh? We prefer a sister. See, nuns are cloistered, while sisters... And what is your business here, sister? Now, what's your tongue this time, Acolyte? I know, I know. You know what? <sighs> oh, nothing. You know nothing? Well, yes, actually. Maybe you can help me with that? <laughs> what do you think She's of the so uproar? off. <laughs> <laughs> you seem angry. Perhaps this holy light has not been shining on you lately, hmm? I'm not angry, none. Just worried. Worried about... Lately, our god has been ambitious. The fire and brimstone kind of ambitious. And the Outlands, they don't forget. She thinks Manas was provoking a war. The recent decree suggested so, too. Now, is that enough of a motive to kill your god? Um... What are these creatures? Ah, the Nath. Aren't they majestic? Their trunks reach deep into the soil. We have built grand palaces and ships and terrifying weapons. But we still can't get sustenance from this dry land. The Nath can. Makes their skin fertile. So we take advantage of that and grow our food on their backs. In a way, we are parasites. Yeah, yeah, that leaves That's true. accurate. Is this your knife? It was my knife. Until some poor soul decided to borrow it and cut an unripe now fruit with it. Now it's ruined. Borrowed? You say somebody borrowed your knife. Maybe. Or maybe the knife decided to cut the fruit all by itself. All I know is I sure didn't stick it there. Who do you think did it? Good question. But I don't have an answer for you, none. One thing is certain. If my farmers aren't stupid, nobody here would try to cut an unripe knife fruit. Unless they did it on purpose. <laughs> Good one. But no, my farmers aren't suicidal either. Ruined? Why would the knife be ruined? But my man, you really know nothing. Unripe knife juice is a powerful adhesive. The knife is no use to me now. Can I take the knife? The knife is ruined. You wouldn't mind if I took it. Strange request. Does the knife interest you so much anyway, none? I just like it. <laughs> it's a beautiful knife. Is it? Oh, yes. Very elegant in its simple design. You are strange. So can I take it? Fine. It's yours. As I said, it's no use to me anymore. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the man over there? Oh, you mean old Plint? Is that his name? What has he done this time? I... On second thought, don't tell me. I have no patience for petty problems anymore. Just leave the man alone, will you? It didn't... Look, none. he doesn't know what he's saying. You cannot blaspheme if you are not right in the head. So I won't hear any more of it. But I wasn't... Enough, I have spoken. Plint is under my protection. Make your peace with it. I will make my... with it then. What? Mm, seems like Radnay is used to be brushing off complaints about the farmer's manners. Mm -hmm. Why would she protect him, I wonder? About Plint. <laughs> <laughs> you don't give up easily now, do you? Whatever you think he shall be punished for, just leave it. Hmm. Okay. About Plint. <laughs> That'll be it for now. So I'm guessing we 
So I'm guessing since about Plint is still there, we can possibly get to know some more about Plint yeah. and then interrogate her again about it. Funny hat! It's called a quaff. A, f a, a funny, a funny coin. It's not that funny if you have to wear it all day in this climate. I can imagine. Anyways, you must be one of them nuns. What you call them? Ava, a sister of Vigil. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Plint, I'm Plint. I am. How would you say uh, of the agricultural creed? Your farmer. Yeah, that. About the farms? Uh, this must be the strangest farm I've ever seen. Think so? I'm getting used to it, eh? You gotta love the Nath. I, ever since I first saw one, I wanted to become a farmer. You became a farmer? I thought people were born into it? Well, that's how it goes these days. I want a good deal for anyone, if you ask me. Makes one one day if things went better before. Before? You know, before mine. Well, that's blasphemy. Uh, it might be, it might be, but it's true, though. First of all, that was eons ago. We're talking the dawn of humankind. All human history. Second, oh, it depends. Everybody knows it was a time of barbarity and chaos. <laughs> everybody knows, and they call them vigilant. Let me tell you, miss, if you hear the words everybody knows... We can bet something really stupid is coming next. I like him. Well, you don't have to believe me. Ever heard of Hepocles? Well, lost writings of Hepocles? Not lost, just hidden away. If you manage to get your hands on those, well, you see for yourself. Noted. Now, let's change the subject before we both get in trouble. <laughs> nice pottery collection. I've been admiring your pottery collection. Oh, thank you, miss. I wish I had more time to work on those. You made these? So you're a farmer and a potter? All kinds of craft, miss. Nothing like working with your hands. Hmm. Hmm? 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 I have a job for you, Master Plint. Would renovating a historical mm. carving be within your skill set? And carving, eh? Well, the one at the temple? So you know it. Oh, yeah. And you're right. Those carvings need a lot of oh, renovating. Perfect. I'll be out then and ask uh, Radna for permission. Uh, or just go. Wait. Didn't you say you were going to ask for permission? Oh, I mean, after I do it. That way I'll have a... What, what you call it? Um, negotiation leverage. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What a strange man. We agree then. Wait, he's already back? Oh, no, no just the elevator. Elevator's okay. come back. So you don't have to die on the nav. Yeah. Can't just take it. Belongs to Master Plint. Fine. I guess now I have to tell him that he's busy <laughs> to Redna. Yeah. Yeah. Can we take more fruits? I really don't need to carry any more fruit. I like how her dress kind of looks like it's covered in blood stains. Bloody. Yes. Yeah, same. It's a bit weird. For May, Lady Redna? I thought nuns were of the quiet, contemplated sort. Yeah, you talk and talk and talk. About plants? You don't give up easily now, do you? Whatever you think of. Yeah, well, we said yeah. before, punished for. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I guess it's nothing, you know. Huh. Yeah, I'll be on my way. Interesting. I oh, won't mention that at all. Nope, she doesn't care. But he just ran off. Yep. So let's go to the temple. Yeah. I guess we talk to Catalyst. Father Catalyst. Can I have a word with you again? A brief word, sister, yes. Uh, your historical carvings are wrong. 
You say Munbrot likes the desert tribes, correct? They are not my carving system. That is simply history as it took place. Well, have you heard of the lost writings of Hippocles? Oh, please, sister. Only madmen and blasphemers concern themselves with such fairy tales. So, what if I told you that? Speak of it no more. This is a sacred place. But... Enough! Those documents do not exist and never have. Unless you can show it to me directly, I will hear no more of it. Okay. About the lost writings. Let's see if there's anything else. I will have made myself clear. Either hand me said writings or stay silent. Fine. I was wondering if he'd give us a hint on where to look for them or something. I got I'll it. I'll be on my way, Father Catalus. May I divine door, blah, blah, blah. And plant. Master plant. Howdy, miss. Apologies, I have to be on my way. Sir, see you around, miss. Okay. <laughs> Anything about the carving? It still looks the same. Time. Cool animations, though. Yeah. We really neat how they pixelate and everything's just working in animation for the sprites. Yeah. Neat stuff. If we can talk to the forge guy, we can learn a little bit about the Riddler's machine. Yeah, we've got two pieces of fruit, so that might be relevant. Fruit And the good. knife, right? <laughs> Maybe he can separate the knife with a knife so he can get the knife free with Maybe. his machine. Maybe? No. No. He's mostly just a replicator, I guess, so yeah. Yeah. Master Rootless. Yes, sister? I want to use your replication machine. I guess we don't have anything new. Yeah. Can't you make an exception for vigilance? Nah, it's the same uh, thing. No. Might as well try, right. but. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Library? We have tools well, now. I guess uh, we have tools. We don't know the about knife, the screwdriver, but... And the root. I guess... I wonder what's stored in there. I mean, you couldn't use it see no to reason. try to open it. Okay. So, Talk to Xavier again, see if he's going to enlighten us. Um, no, where can I find can the lost writings? Yeah. That's the best library in the whole nation, yes? Yes, yeah, sister. Proud to confirm that. Then do you have, for any chance, anything by somebody named Hippocles? Um, notice this man's pupil, it's like a light. That's what fear looks like. Don't worry, Master Xavian. Mother Superior sent me to retrieve the scroll. Did I know? You can speak freely. Well, in such case... Yes, we do in fact possess the lost writings of Hippocles. But they are beyond my reach, Vigilant and Sister. Securely stored in the Emperor's vault. Only his divine light can grant you access. His divine light is in no condition to grant anything. Uh, how do I get to it? I'm no help here, Sister. Your Sister Vigil, Ava, you need no help. Understood. So... So now that's we know it. it's in the vault, so now yes. we, we have the axe. Exactly. So that's why I was talking to him, because I figured that might be how mm. we figure out why we need to open yeah. the vault. Yeah, I would just at this point talk to anybody. We just yeah. need to figure shit out. Yeah, because... Emperor's vault, but now nah, we want to go here. Must be where the writings are kept. Exactly. Can't just force it open with my bare hands. A hammer. This is the God Emperor's Vault. A symbol hammer won't do anything here. Chism. What does he One want? The most secure vault in the whole nation. I really can't break into it with just a chisel. I can't. Is this the time we have to use the light bulbs, I guess? That's weird. Screwdriver. <laughs> I see no screws. I'm trying to pry it open. It would only break the screwdriver. I guess it's time for the... Um... The lamp thing. Yeah, then. probably. Maybe now she'll get it. Knife. Right. No. 
fruit somehow? No. And you tried the lock, right? Uh, yeah, I tried it previously. Still, the door stays closed. <laughs> oh yeah, but now uh, she has a reason, that's the thing. Now, how do I... Fine. Look Fine. at the lock. Stare at it. Right. Now close your eyes quickly. And image, image that's burning to your retina. Picture it unlocking. Okay. Fine. It worked! There you go. Fine. So... So I guess the lamps are something new yeah. for later again, still. The lost writings! So the crazy farmer was right after all. I wish I had more time to study this. Now, let me close the vault again. Wait. Superpowers. Nothing to see here. Now we just go right back to the... Um, yeah, but... Liar. Lost writings. We can have Highly sacrilegious and, until recently, believed to be lost forever. The text speaks of a nation before Mun. One which, from what I can tell, was anything but barbaric. And which, we can assume, was extinguished by Mun and his armies. Hmm. Um, we should also save. Yes, we should. We've done saving for a while. Yes. Good point. Game could even crash. This is not... Tested by more than probably three. <laughs> Maybe even four people. Maybe four people tested it. Okay, back to the um, temple. Yes, the temple. So, we have the scroll. You dingus. Father Catalyst, look what I found. Hmm. <clears throat> but this is... Yes, the lost... A cheap forgery. I assure you it's not. Hmm, let me see. Oh, well, I stand corrected. I'm glad you... It is a good forgery. Let me just study it for some time and I will prove it to you. Be my guess. Okay, so now we need to wait. Let it be for a while, I guess, until we do something else. <laughs> Maybe rather catalyst. May I have a word with you again? A brief. Um, these are the lost writings, and you know it. You've been studying the scroll for a while now, Father. Wouldn't be doing that if you had proof it wasn't authentic. In fact, I think you know these are the real lost writings of Pepper Voice. Absolutely not. It is simply that exposing a lie takes more time than telling one. Just let me study this nonsense for a little longer. Okay. Okay. Be on my way. Shut up. So, he is really reading that thoroughly. Mun's chambers. Hello. Hi. Ah. <laughs> So, putting the fruit with the other fruit? No. Putting the fruit on the... no. Um... Just talk to... Yeah, I guess we can talk to her. Tab Tiamata and see what she wants to Mother talk her? about. Aiva, are you ready to demonstrate to me how this man was killed? Not just yet, Mother <laughs> Superior. Then what are you bothering me for? My chain of thought, it breaks so easily, you know? Apologies, Mother Spiria. Hmm. But this, this is kind of an so, end game scenario, I feel. Accomplish nothing. Accomplish nothing. Fine, so I guess we just need to detach it from the root first. Yeah. And I would think that this would just be like an end, end thing ish, yeah. where we just, after a while, we just go back and then yeah. we just be able to demonstrate it when we get it. It's Radnus Knife. It got glued to an unripe Nath fruit. Nath fruit? I got it from the farmer. They're heavy. Heavy. Screws are unscrews screws. <laughs> Borrowed the hammer from the oh. forge. I was lying on a table next to a chisel and a screwdriver. It feels like Borrowed that was a. Um... Was lying on the table along with a hammer and a screwdriver. So they mentioned that the fruit was heavy, so that's probably used for potential something that yeah. needs some weight on for later. 
Yeah, quite possible. Like murdering someone. <laughs> hmm. So, what do we do next then? Do you have a temple again? No, he's not done. See if he is. No. Jarvik's I can still go back to Radna and see. Sure. We know more about them, but he hasn't confirmed the Hepocles, right? So maybe not. Yeah, we're here. Might as well. You should be busy sucking the earth, Mr. Nath. It's just also curious about what we're doing. So, nothing there. Looking at the tree. No. A Nath tree. Like the one I saw in Mun's chamber, but this one is fully grown. People wouldn't survive here for long without these plants. They have so many uses. So, she runs the math farms. She seems angry. Or maybe just suspicious of outsiders. In any case, there's something hostile about her. If I may, Lady Ratna. Yeah. This is just the same introduction thing as uh, always. About Flint? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. Leave it. So, yeah. Good talk. Good talk. Buying tools, probably. Saving since their tools, and this is a farm. Brilliant introduction, Ava. Right. Impressive craftsmanship. Master Plant sure is tal is a talented craftsman. Hmm. What else could we do? Well, we just gotta go through the whole thing, and yep. there's not much to do, so why don't we just do them what we can do, basically. So we can go to the library again, talk with the library yeah. guy, and we can talk to um, the Rootless, see if we can do something more with Rootless. We haven't done much there at all, so... We could try and interact with lamps again. I mean, sure. But see I'll if there's see. something we can do with the fruits. Oh yeah, maybe. That should keep it down. Oh yeah, so keep uh, it down. That was the heavy. It. Ah, I did not think about that. Smart Spider, good job. Gaming. Take it close of course, look. so that's Fine. There. having to take everyone off. Uh, now we're gaming with gaming. Yeah. Right. Hmm. There. So the last one we'll just have yeah. to. Da -da 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 her you eyes. Know what a sacred passage. <laughs> ah, the plot thickens. What are you waiting for, Ava? Let's go. Okay, we're going. What is this place? Scales. Image. What do we have here? Wang pan. Wang pan. A bronze weighing pan. In it, there are three... Looks like ceramic shards? Mm, shards. The shards. We have the full title now. Yes. Bronze weighing pan. In it are what looks like ceramic shards again. Can we take them? Okay. Oh, yeah. a puzzle. Fusely. We need the last piece. But this is the... Hmm? The missing plate! Oh, didn't I say the plate was important? And so the plot begins to unravel, no? Yes, I think I can see it now. See what? This only makes things more confusing. Oh, come on, Acolyte. Isn't it obvious? Well, I think... Uh... The scales are a puzzle. If we put the right shards on the right side of the scales. I don't know, another secret passage will open? Hmm. 
Now we just have to find the clue. The clue. You know, like, way two more than one, but three or less, the quarter of twelve, and you place the shards on the scales the right way, and voila. Uh huh. So somebody constructed a secret door and rigged it to a scale. And it can only be opened using broken piece of a dead god's decoration piece. Oh, uh, well, when you say it like this... Uh, the killer stole the plate. The killer must have stolen the plate. Maybe as a little souvenir, huh? And then they broke it and decided to weigh it. Well, maybe they want to sell it and are estimating the cost? Well, I do give you points for imagination. Um, the killer broke the plate and wanted to hide it. So, broke it by accident and didn't want to leave traces. Why just throw it off the balcony and why the scales? Hmm. I give up. It's a mystery to me. I'll agree that some aspects of this are still rather unclear. Like the number. Why four? For what? Four shards, three on one side, one on the other. Where's the fifth shard? Yes, I noticed that too. One of the pieces is missing. Indeed, and before it resurfaces, we won't know everything. Oh well, all in due time, I'll let you proceed with your mission, Acolyte. We still have a murder to reconstruct. Yes, Mother Superior. That's right. Shall we, um ended here and yes. we probably have I don't know how big the game is going to be but I'm guessing one more episode well we shall find out put everything back the way I found it Let's so we need to go in there next time we have a shard yes but yes it seems like at least one more episode yeah I would say we'll so see how much exactly but it's very cute so yeah, far hard to tell we know it's like short uh, yeah. because it looks like it's intended as a jam, but they completed it, so it's probably going to be a two hour the journey, yeah. I would say. Um, we still haven't heard about the judge. Oh, yeah. That's been foreshadowed, so I feel like that's going to be a thing, maybe? Yeah. So, so we have to go back to the temple and later on figure out what the, what the Hepocles wording and. Mr. Pimple will finish that thing. We need to do something with the replicator. Oh, probably maybe in the, well, in the shards, maybe even the replicate, but we need a specific piece for that. But um, yeah, a lot of things to do, so we'll see. I mean, maybe we have to replicate the plate. Maybe. Like, putting the pieces back together, and maybe, like, we could glue them together with the fruit, I guess. You can just replicate a new god. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> gluing the plate pieces together with the fruit juice. And then replicating oh, yeah, a new it's plate that's like ah. still whole. Maybe. The adhesive of yep. the knife. Yeah, right. You're right, you're right. That's my guess, but we'll see. Yeah, that might be. That puts it all together, kind of. Yeah. I'm just not sure why we'd need another plate. Like maybe to lure out the killer by going, look, the plate's yeah. back. Well, yeah, that's just totally so, up in the air. Yeah. yeah. Might be something else. But there must be something we want to replicate. Yeah. We shall see. We shall see. Next time on God... Sh shards of God. Yes. Now that we found our shards. We have a dead God. Yes, yes. We, we sure do. So. Thanks for... Lending your eyeballs and ear holes. Mm. I don't, I don't want to have that as like catchphrase at the end there. Well, it's, it's, just, it's here <laughs> to stay. <laughs> lending your eyeballs and your ear lobes. What do you say? Ear holes. Yeah, that's worse. <laughs> ear lobes would have died. And it's just like it's vulgar and weird. I don't know. <laughs> well, now that we're on being vulgar and weird. Start swearing. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>